Hey guys, Little Gecko Productions here. A few months ago, I shot a music video for my cousin, and I thought you guys might want an inside look on how it was done. So let's get started. So you start with pre-production. First things first, I listen to the song. A lot. While I listened, I wrote down any ideas that I had and I find that it works best to even write down the stupid ideas that you come up with, and then you can always scratch them later. So now that you have a few ideas, you have to find your locations. For my video, I knew that I wanted to have an industrial looking kitchen, and to contrast that, I wanted a trailer. I figured that I'm gonna need another location, so I thought that my house would work. Now, you always wanna find locations that you know that you can get access to. I figured for an industrial kitchen, I could use the kitchen at my church. I figured they would let me use it, and I had my camper nearby as well, so I'd be able to use that. So now that I have my locations down, I can start to visualize the video in my head. Now, what I need to do next is take those visualizations and get them onto paper. So, let's storyboard. Now, I'm not drawing every single shot cut of how I want the video to be, but I'm at least drawing my ideas down so that I can show my cousin so that he can get an idea of what I'm trying to get done. So as you can see here, my terrible drawings versus the actual shot we got. So next is the shot list. The shot list is basically the storyboard but in word form. And um, I did add extra shots, the ones that I didn't want to draw out. And so this way, you can have this with you on set and just check them off as you get them done. So I'm here with first book. What's up, guys? And you know, this is just some behind the scenes. So we're doing an intro and then we're gonna make some grilled cheese in that kitchen. I got a trailer out here. We're gonna try and make some grilled cheese out there. We got camera and our board and everything. We're doing like an audition for the intro to the video. And then we're gonna head to my house and make some more grilled cheese there. So yeah, um, let's go. Now you hear people say it all the time, that something will always go wrong on set. And I never believed it because I'd never done much of a big production besides just talking into a camera in my house, but it's definitely true. As you'll see, we plan to shoot inside my fifth wheel but unfortunately, we didn't have the adapter to connect it up to electricity, so we were unable to shoot in the trailer. We had to scrap that entire location, but when we went to the store to pick up the cheese and bread, uh, we figured that we might as well run through the song once or twice here and get a few shots. Now, if you've seen the video, you'll know that we actually used a lot from the grocery store. We also, on the fly, decided to go to my cousin's house to get some shots in his kitchen, his backyard, and in his front yard. So even though we lost the location that I was really looking forward to shooting in, we were able to, you know, get over it and get around it and come up with some other shots that I think turned out pretty good. Okay guys, so we just finished the shoot in the kitchen there. Um, the trailer we got here, <sighs> can't hook it up to power, so I can't set up my lights, I can't push out the slide out, it'd be way too cramped. I'm not even sure if the stove works so can't use the trailer so we're gonna hit we're gonna go to my house and i think we're gonna go to matthew's house and yeah um it's pretty cool i'm pretty excited we were just at the we were just at the grocery store um and this lady comes up to us she's like she's like oh i'm a film producer and she's like I, I would give you my card but i don't have one and i had some cards so i gave her my card and she got her phone numbers and everything so um Kinda of excited about that. Met a film producer at King Supers. I mean, you know? You never know what's gonna happen, so. Yeah, no, nothing happened. But yeah, um, we're gonna go, I'm gonna help Matthew pack up, and we're gonna head to the next location. See you guys there. Okay, so we're at the second location, and Nerd! we got some lights set Nerd! up. And we're about to do this. We got a Batman. So yeah, let's let's go. Oh look. Look at the little nerd in a girl's apron. That's me. I'm wearing a girl's apron. Okay guys, so we just finished shooting at Matthew's house. I'm just waiting for him to come out of his garage. And um, we 
did like two takes in his kitchen when she set up his trophies and stuff. And then um, did one of him in the backyard and then we just kind of messed around with him dry, riding a, a skateboard um, around the street. Here's Matthew, we're about to go, go to my house and that should be the last location. Okay, so we're here at the last location. I just- I'm sitting down. He's sitting down. I've just got a few shots left on the shot list. We're about to get it, and then we're gonna, I don't know, just screw around and get some other B-roll for the end of the song. And yeah, um, so far it's been a lot of fun, so let's let's go. So you know, you're in the moment, and you're, you're uh, dumping some Cheetos on the thing, and then they catch on fire, and you gotta, yeah. You know, it's just what happens. Okay guys, we are filming the intro right now. We just got some grilled cheese. It's gonna melt, then we're gonna play it backwards so it'll be like a mush-ish. I don't know how, how much it's gonna melt and then it'll like turn into grilled cheese. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. We got, I gotta check some stuff off the shot list. Shot list, crappy storyboard. And then just my notes. That's how I did it. You saw the better video, the time lapse, everything before. So, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Look at this. Look at that melt. Look at that melt. Okay, that's a wrap. Um, done shooting. We hit what? One, two, three relocations. Four different spots. I don't know. Um, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and start the edit. I'm pretty excited about how this is gonna turn out. Well guys, as long as you put in the effort to not only shooting, but also pre-production, you should be able to pull off a pretty good video. Things will go wrong, but as long as you've scheduled enough time and have enough brain power, you should be able to get around them. When I go back and watch this video that I made six months ago, there's definitely things that I would change and things that I would do better but all that does is show growth. If you take this video, my second ever music video, and compare it to my first, They know about the love that surrounds from every side, and now they know. Yeah, I think, I think, I've, I think I've gotten better. Well guys, that is how you prepare and shoot a music video. If you learned something, hit the like button. And if you cringed at my stylish glasses, my giant ears, my cousin's manly apron, my amazing artistic skills, or the hit single that everybody's gonna be singing all summer, comment below. And if you like Cheetos or grilled cheese sandwiches, hit that subscribe button, I might have one for you. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.